630. NASA is close to taking the next step to getting astronauts back on the moon. ABC 17 Zachary Farwell sat down with a representative from the space agency today to learn more about next week's mission for Artemis 1. He explains how NASA looks to continue exploration of the final frontier. This is going to be a, a generational accomplishment. NASA has its sights aimed for the moon. The space agency is scheduled to launch Artemis 1 Monday morning. Riding on the back of a rocket, an unmanned Orion spacecraft. That's the new capsule designed by NASA to carry astronauts into outer space and back to the moon. It's a little bit larger than Apollo even. Uh, compared to shuttle, it's a pretty tight space though. Imagine a large family tent. And that is very much, much what the mission is similar to, is, is deep space campings. The unmanned Orion spacecraft is expected to make the first flight around the moon since Apollo 17 made the same trip in 1972. In total, the Orion spacecraft's trip will cover around 2 million miles. Orion will travel over 2 million miles in this journey, which is just, just mind-boggling to think of traveling a distance that far in such a short time. Back in September 2020, NASA announced plans to get the first woman and first person of color on the moon. That could come as soon as 2024, and with astronauts back on the surface of the moon by 2025. It's going to be something that this, this current generation looks toward and builds upon their, their life, their careers, and everything. Um, their future technology capabilities will all be built on this mission's groundwork that we're laying for the future Artemis program. Reporting for the ABC 17 News team, I'm Zachary Farwell. And ABC News plans to carry live coverage of the Artemis 1 launch. Barring a delay, you can watch Artemis 1 blast off right here on ABC 17 News starting at 7.30 Monday morning. Up next on ABC 17.